Alright, so uh, I'm back with another video. Uh, when I was in college, I had a project towards the end of my master's degree, and uh, I had not ever learned or opened Revit. So uh, I took that as an opportunity to build that particular project in Revit, um, but I didn't want to try and learn how to render in Revit. Uh, mostly because it's probably awful and in my experience it's definitely awful so what I wanted to do was figure out a way to bring my Revit model into Rhino um, so that I can use my Rhino and my V-Ray and uh, the workflow that I'm comfortable with for visualization uh, and it's, it's incredibly easy so what you see on the screen is a uh, really simple ugly thing um, that just has a few different material types uh, or family types so I've got a storefront I've got a storefront with glazing and a solid panel I've got a brick wall I've got a door I have uh, a roof I don't have a floor um, but that's not that important um, but I just wanted to show how to bring this into Rhino and and uh, make it ready for rendering. The reason why this is important is because I don't want to have to remake this whole model in Rhino from scratch. Uh, so um, I decided to look into it and I, I figured it out and the most amazing part about this is that it actually brings it into Rhino the way that I found out uh, as NURBS as opposed to for example if you render in uh, Rhino but model in SketchUp and you try and bring a SketchUp model into Rhino it's just a bunch of planes and I don't even know if you can call them meshes really um, but same for like 3ds Max uh, at least in my experience you, now that 3ds Max is actually owned by Autodesk. You might be able to do something similar to what I'm about to show you and have uh, a nice smooth workflow. Uh, anyways, to move on with it, <clears throat> here's my ugly simple building. It's got a couple of things in it. Um, one of the most important things to understand is that when you're exporting, you have to be in a 3D view. I know you can't see the top of my screen, but the 3D view is kind of right about where that little pop-up is and it's just like a little isometric button of a house or something but you click that and it brings you into this kind of 3D view um, then the next thing you want to do is go over to your big R and uh, go down to export go up to CAD formats and there's a few options here uh, we're going to be using DWG and within that there's an option for ACIS and one thing that uh, you should remember is that ACIS does not refer to this button it refers to the option within the DWG export um, so uh, the reason why I say that is if you're like me and you're doing this and you're like oh, okay I haven't done it in a while and I want to go back and figure it out uh, you need to make sure that if you remember ACIS it's not this one it's the one within here so go ahead and click the DWG um, you need to have a 3D view here which it's included if you just click that little uh, 3D view house button up at the top of the screen and so this is what it looks like um, select export setup go ahead and click the three dots all this stuff is pretty self-explanatory um, it looks really crazy, but it's not that bad. Uh, so basically what this is, is how, was, how do you want Revit to organize layers? So uh, here are the family or item categories, and this is what layer they're going to be on, and this is a color identification number. All pretty trivial. It's pretty intuitive as is, so changing it's not really needed. Um, the rest of these I really just don't change it because when I do this process it's almost exclusively for rendering I don't do construction documents or anything in, in Rhino so um, 
what we want to look at is a solids tab and by default you probably have polymesh turned on polymesh will turn it into a mesh and then when you bring it into Rhino you have to work with meshes and Rhino doesn't really like meshes so we're going to skip that and click on the ACIS solids that will actually export it as NURBS objects uh, so like I said earlier in that menu you don't want to click on the ACIS in that menu because you'll be lost and confused you want to go ahead and click this one in here under the solids tab let's go ahead and click OK click next uh, I had done something different earlier we'll just go in here and do sample house or something um, export views on sheets and links as external references we don't have any of those in this project because all we have is this model right here so we're going to just turn that off so Revit doesn't even try and find those or try and do anything with it because it it may just add um, placeholder information that we don't need so we're going to go ahead and click OK it's exported we'll go to our Rhino and that was something else I was working on. Come in here, import. We're going to find our file that we just made. It's pretty simple 115 KB is all it is. Click open. You're going to be asked a few questions here. Uh, I've noticed that the default is fine. If you have like pretty weird, crazy stuff that you're doing in your model, you may want to spend a little more time in here. For example, convert wide polylines to surfaces. That way, certain things aren't aren't lost. Um, but for the most part, it's just kind of experiment with it and uh, figure out the best way depending on what you have modeled. So I'm going to click OK. Um, this almost always pops up for me, and it may be a version issue. Um, same thing here usually it's fine so then we come in here and we basically have our house it's got a couple of broken things in there For example that it might just be a bad face it might be the assembly um, of my my roof and it can't really calculate that but um, you can just come in here and, and do some quick cleanup which is kind of expected in a process like this but uh, come over here and you can see I'll purge all this stuff so you have glazing curtain glazing uh, I don't know what that is curtain wall mullion maybe so you go here curtain wall mullion and you have this one glazing curtain curtain so forth that's going to be roof, that's door, so it organizes everything pretty well, it also it separates the door from the door frame, and this all I think depends upon what your family looks like, so if your family is uh, um, built in a way where you have a door, and you have a door frame, and you have door hardware, then all that stuff will be um, kind of tiered in like a different layers when you import it but that's really all there is to this you come in here and then you can fix it up and uh, put materials on it just like you would in um, as if you built it in um, V-Ray or sorry Revit or Rhino I'll figure it out <laughs> uh, and then go ahead and hit render so um, I'll probably do something real quick just a really simple render Put a couple materials on there, show it at the end of this video, or right now, I guess, and uh, you can kind of see what it looks like from beginning to end. Anyways, thanks for watching. Go ahead and ask any questions. I'll, I'll try and clarify anything if you have any issues. Uh, if you have any additional information that you want to add to this to make it better, go ahead and drop that in the comments. Always appreciated. Uh, thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.